I am John Haunt. I want to talk to you today about the Sunsight Azimuth Tool. This is the Sunsight Azimuth Tool. We're going to be showing you how to use it and mount it. Um, this azimuth tool, it will tell you the direction your antenna will be pointing for your azimuth. Every job requires us to use this. This is the mounting tool. It will strap right to the antenna using this. It will go behind and push right in. There's a lever on the side. You just pull it and it will tighten the strap. This is the tool itself. It will click right into here. Tighten these knobs. And be sure to always safety off your azimuth tool to your antenna. It can be in multiple orientations. It can be facing the back, the left, the right, or the front. Once the asthma tool is mounting, we're gonna power it on. Power it on. And we are gonna go into your phone settings. Go to your Wi-Fi and AAT9011871 should pop up. You click into that. And this could take a few minutes for it to link up to your phone. As you're waiting, you can go into your Safari and go into aat.sunsite.com and just wait for your Wi-Fi bar to come up and then you will be connected to the tool. Be sure your azimuth tool is always fully charged. Sometimes it could take up to an hour to capture azimuth and wouldn't want your azimuth tool to die. There is a link light that will turn solid green once your phone is linked to the azimuth tool. Once you are in there, you will create a new profile. This will be an example. Put your site name in, your sector, antenna position. Look for your azimuth, your down tilt, your roll will always be zero. Mechanical down tilt could change submit. Once you have that first profile created, you can clone it and change the sector and your azimuth. And then do the same for gamma. Once your profile is created, you can go back to your alpha sector full capture and you are looking for zero. Um, I think due to the location, the actual azimuth will not come up because we are inside of a building, but you will come to this screen. Your target will say zero. Um, the AAT orientation, it does matter. You can face left, back, right, front, depending on where you put the azimuth tool on the antenna. As now you can see, I'm on the left side, so I will go to the left. Once you have that all done, you capture, it will count down. Six seconds, and you can see that, stuff's not right on this one, but, um, it will all be right. Another thing I wanted to mention was the tilt and roll. So if your tilt and roll is not zero, your down tilt and roll. You will go to menu, tilt and roll calibration, and go through these steps. Approximately two minutes it will take you to calibrate this. Once you have all your azimuth captured and everything is right, you will go back to your menu, profile capture report, and you will find your site, hit PDF, and email it to yourself. And that will eliminate you having to turn it back on, link to it, 
and send it to yourself at a later date for the closeout package. It's just way simpler if you do it at the time you have it on. And if it's the top hand up there, they can email it to the foreman or themselves. Once everything is done, the tool always goes back in the case. It does not just float in the trunk. That is what this nice bag is for. Let's use it. To unhook it from this, there is a little lever right underneath. You just push it towards you and lift up. For this mount, you will pull back on this lever and release it. Is that?